All right, hello everyone. Um, today I will be going over my process for making a section out of acrylic. So right now I have a piece of three quarter inch square in between centers and it's about 35 millimeters long so that'll give plenty of room for both threads and the entire section. So it's between live and dead centers. I'm turning about uh, 2800 I think, 2670 RPMs and I'll just rough it out and turn it down to around uh, 14, 14 to 13 millimeters in diameter. I like to keep it clear of excess shavings just so I can see what I'm doing better. looking good still have a few millimeters to go and I need to cool down my tool because it's starting to burn my fingers All right. since I'm taking off so much so fast the carbide cutter does heat up I still have some more to do.
let's check what dimension. What size that is? It's at 14.18, so I'll still take it down some more. Checking for high and low spots, and it seems to be rather uniform. And now I'll check it out with the calipers. Got 12.7 there, 12.9 in the middle, 12.8 on the other end. Um, I'm going to keep going until I get to uh, about just 12. That's looking about right. 12.4, 12.2, 12.3, still a little more. Just my phone going off. Oopsies. Alright, so now I'm going to get out my call it check with a uh, 12 to 13 millimeter call it in it. Clear off the threads here. Come on. Gotta make sure the collet chuck is free of debris, especially where this part seats. Because um, if it's not, it won't hold centered all the time, and you'll end up with out of round parts. And that's no fun. Okay. So I'm trying to decide which part I want to make the threaded area, and I'm looking for the least patterned, so I'll make this end here the threaded part. And just feel it there to make sure it's nice and spinning concentrically. And then I will true up this end and turn this about maybe six centimeters of this down to, or six millimeters down to uh, 10 mil diameter.
Okay, check that. It's probably around 11, 10 and a half. Oh, 10.17. That's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to use a uh, parting tool to square up the edge. Okay, I'm going to check the diameter where I used that. 9.95, that's perfect. taking very light cuts to the rest of it to take it down to around 9.9 .9 to 10 mil. I went a little low, 9.7, but that's nothing tragic. It'll still work fine. And if I was really concerned about it, I could um, cut this back some to where it's closer to 10 millimeter and then thread a little bit farther along. I cut the section uh, pieces long so that I can correct mistakes if I make them. But I am using uh, one millimeter depth threads, or sorry, half millimeter depth threads actually. It's an M10 by one, so I'm not concerned about running out of a uh, running out of room for the. Well, my phone decided to stop recording it about three minutes ago, so you missed a little bit. Um, what I had done was I drilled through this with a 7mm bit. I'm um, using going about a quarter inch at a time, backing it out, and then spraying water in as a lubricant and coolant to prevent any uh, chipping or melting of the walls as I drill. Um, I just repeated the quarter inch back out water, go back in quarter inch until I got through the entire thing. Then I power threaded it with a M7.5 by 0.5 tap. And now I'm about to cut this end down a bit to make it the length that I want. that. I'll turn the RPMs back up to the 2670 that I was at before. millimeters which is right about where I wanted so now we will start drilling in the front side for the nib unit and this is for a number six jowl again first bit is a seven and a half, or seven point seven five millimeter a seven point eight will also work fine um, I rarely ever use imperial drill bits because figuring out letters and numbers and fractions just takes way too much time. Alright, and I have a mark on there for depth. And I'm going to turn it back down to 800 revs so I don't melt things. Alright, 
I don't use water as a coolant here because I'm just taking off a little bit with each pass. And now I will be using an 8.5 mil. That's a nine. Yeah. 8.5 mil for the step. And then finally, 9mm, just kissing it, for the last, the lip. Looks like I got it to the right depth. I don't have a test uh, nib unit down here right now, but just based on experience, that looks pretty good. All right. So next, I'm going to put a mandrel in there. This is just aluminum. half inch aluminum and the outer diameter of this as I said in my last video matches the outer diameter of or the what would that be basically the inner radius of the threads my English is failing me and it's my first language so that's how that's going. Okay, it's spinning a little bit eccentrically, but I think that is because, oopsies. I think that's because the uh, mandrel isn't quite in completely flush and round. Make sure your tools are clean, otherwise you'll run into uh, issues with stuff being out around, not square, etc. All right, that feels better on that edge. feels much better. I could bring up the tailstock for support, but right now I won't. I'll just take light cuts. bit more to go at the back. some diameters 
to 11 millimeters, which is just fine. And this is 10.46. I want it to be more tapered and then a sudden jump up to 11 millimeters. So to that end, I'm going to use a little square edge tool to define the lip. some more taper. that square tool again just to redefine that lip. And it's a bit larger than I want, so I'll turn it down some. looking about how I want it. So now I will go through my sanding process. I'm going to start out, since I got a relatively good finish on it, with 320, if I can find my 320. sanding here. Um, you don't have to. It just reduces dust. Okay, 320 is looking good. A little bit more. switch up to 400 and then 800 or 600 actually well I'll use 800 it's not too big of a jump 
as long as I just take my time. looking fine. Mighty fine indeed. Get the inside. Alright. Normally I would sand at 1800 about, but I completely forgot to change it, so I sanded higher and it's still fine. Now it's pretty well in there because friction tightens it. So, you grab a glove, grip it, and just twist it out. And I have a nice looking section there. See if the camera will get it. Yep. Nice looking section indeed. Slow taper with a lip. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the result. I'll post pictures with a nib in it. Uh, probably along with the video. Thanks for watching.